We need a little science. Building my dream school is like reading like a fucking like, champ. You know what? I don't have enough double. I don't have enough double that dreams of stuff, so might as well. And then I got like a hell of a super strike. I think super strike that I want to bring into it too, just because just to get all those genes in the yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think I hit the super vanilla super vanilla <coughs> pastel high as well. And it, it looks like just a really nice firefly. Uh, yeah. Picked up this pastel. It's possible either fire or vanilla. They weren't sure. Sweet. It's got a lot of blushing on the head and stuff, so it's got something other than pastel in there. Looking good. That clown. That clown. That clown? Yeah. Sweet. Uh, this is Mike. Miles. Or, I'm sorry. You're all right. Miles. <laughs> and uh, my wife, Brandy. Brandy. Yep. And then I've got a. What else you got there? She's got a. Uh, yeah, she's she's been dying to get out of this bag. <laughs> Every time I open it, she about leaves out of this. Put me up by the teeny yeah. tiny tarantula, yeah. and I said, "Can you hang on to it? I'll be back later." <laughs> then picked up a Mojave head clown female also. Sweet. Head clown. A lot of clown stuff going to be coming in a couple of years. All right. Thanks for sharing, Miles. Yeah, thanks a lot, Bill. Hey, Bill from BC Python, and I uh, just wanted to update everybody. I'm on the road home from Tinley, had an absolute blast, and uh, I cut out a little early, so I have to apologize to a few people I didn't get to catch up with. Um, As you know, it turned kind of cold and icky up here, and uh, I, I am sorry, but I take my animals very seriously, and uh, my new little uh, sling, uh, Carabina Versicolor. Uh, tarantula, I wanted to make sure it was going to have a good ride home for four hours and be warm, so I had a little problem locating my heat pack and found it, and I grabbed me some lunch and got everybody settled into the truck and decided I'd go ahead and get on the road maybe a couple hours earlier than normal, so I apologize to anybody I didn't get to catch back up with and uh, look forward to seeing everybody in the future again. Um, but I had an absolute blast and showed a new guy around the Tinley for his first time and he was like a little kid in a candy store and it was fantastic and uh, he's like the rest of us. He started out with, uh, hold on, these roads suck up here because of 
freeze thaw, I guess. Anyway, um, he started out with like one or two, and now he's like at 12, two months. So, uh, having a good time helping out, you know, new people in the hobby and stuff like that. So, kind of help them point them in the right direction, you know, and it's always good to do that. So, anyway, I uh, just wanted to say thanks a lot to everybody I met. Really good seeing you, and I'll make a video a little later. And you might be able to hear in the background some of my uh, mini pickups from Tenley They're driving me nuts. So, uh, I think about 60 of my 120 somethings are very noisy. So, <laughs> anyway, I uh, got some cool stuff to show when I get home. And uh, everybody, have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Once again, Appreciate your uh, watching, liking, subscribing, and stay tuned for more fun. And good evening, Bill from BC Pythons. And yes, I'm finally back in the land of uh, YouTube. Uh, sorry I didn't get to go live up at Tinley. I was going to try to, but... During the times that uh, I was there early and late Friday, a lot of the vendors didn't have their full display set up. So um, I was going to try to go live during the morning a little bit, but it got a little hectic and uh, had some uh, uh, work scheduling issues Friday and kind of threw me just a little bit behind a couple hours and I was trying to play catch up all weekend. So um, if I ran into you... Uh, Apologize for not uh, getting back and spending a whole lot of time with you, um, but I had a friend come up from Indy and uh, he wanted to uh, come to the show. He's just new in the reptiles. I guess he had some before, and uh, but he'd never been to Tinley, so he came up from Indianapolis and uh, wanted me to show him around. And he ended up running four hours late himself, so um, I kind of got tied up with that. So. Um, I want to first say um, the people I met, like uh, Daryl and his wife from Exquisite Exotics, um, I'll leave a link to their uh, YouTube channel and also go and check out their uh, business. They have quite the uh, collection going over there. So, And of course, ran into Matt from MT Universe also, and uh, his business he's forming is the Ball Python Project. So keep an eye out for him. I'll put a link in there below. And um, the one guy that I was really excited to meet in person, and when I seen his name on the list, was um, <clears throat> Reach Out Reptiles, Garrett Hartle. And uh, don't know if you're a subscriber to him, but if you're not, you really should be, because he's another one of the very positive guys in the reptile community. Uh, him and his family have a great channel over there, uh, Reach Out Reptiles. So it was a pleasure talking with him and he was sharing some of his uh, super um, dwarfs, retics he has. Um, and those were pretty awesome smaller retics. Um, they call them super dwarfs. So yeah, they're in several different colors. They come out of the same clutch. So Go and check out his YouTube channel. So, anyway, so uh, that's enough of that. What you wanted to hear. Um, what did I get? Well, besides from the 600 crickets um, that I bought, well, 60 of them were large crickets. And um, I got some millworms, of course, too. Um, you see my Instagram, and I've had a little video on there. They were driving me nuts for four hours. So... Um, I picked up a couple more items. You know, of course, I had the basics of heat tape, substrate, things like that, but y'all don't want to see that. But I did pick up one of these. And, uh, sorry. I got a uh, Spider Electronics um, e Purpose Stat EZ1 back here. And I uh, got it going on my new hat split rack. So if you're a long time subscriber, you'll notice that one of my hat split racks is gone from over here. So, um, had some problems with that, and that's kind of why I had to cut my uh, trip to Tinley just a couple more hours short, too. Um, 
wife said, there may have been an issue with that rack. And I said, uh-oh. And um, I had uh, my friend, I was needed a rack too because he bought too many snakes at the Tinley. So I had to hurry up and build two racks yesterday and today. So and that's the new one I built for myself here. So, but I'm running it off of this Herbstad Easy One. Uh, very simple to set up. It's a manual dial. You turn it up there, you shoot it with your uh, Tim gun, and it works great. So, and uh, these are available from anywhere from $72 to, I think, uh, as high as I've seen, it was like $85. But uh, I highly recommend one of these two on the lower end of uh, controllers, and I get asked that a lot, of course, with the racks. So, um, and next up, Oh, I got to see the uh, Justin uh, Kabelka's Magma, and he had, had the Coral Glow there also, and uh, those were awesome in person. So, pictures really don't do them a lot of justice. You know, they look incredible, but until you see those kind of animals in person, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, um, I did pick up another thing. The smallest thing I picked up is... My third tarantula. Uh, back here we have my Avic Avic, which is the uh, pink toe tarantula. And this one here is the Carabina uh, Versicolor. And it is teeny tiny. I will post some uh, smaller pictures and I'll probably insert them like here or here. So, um, very adorable, adorable little species. And um, uh, it's just a little hatchling, and that was another one of the reasons I wasn't expecting them to be that small. And when I uh, got it, uh, I was like, "Ooh, this is kind of small." And uh, it turned very cold and nasty up there, and I had some problems locating my heat pack. And uh, just Saturday afternoon turned into an adventure on me. So, uh, but anyway. Everybody made it safe and sound. And then the big guy that I got is a metallic pink toe tarantula. He's about twice the size of my other guy. He's kind of curled up a little bit now. So, um, so I'll post a picture of him with the um, LED light. I don't know if it'll show up on here or not. You can see the actual blue sheen to them so I'll get some close-ups of them later too so and um, also got me a, a very cool uh, poster from Arachno gear uh, for tarantulas so if you're a spider person and you're a tarantula person watching this channel go and check them out at arachnogear.com and I think they have a Facebook page also and I'll try to put a link in the description for those guys too and I'll take a picture or show you that here in a minute too so I did pick up a snake um, I'm gonna have to go into the other room and fetch him and um, if I'm bleeding when I get back it's because he's not quite settled in yet but um, unless you're a paper towel he seems to have a thing about paper towels he doesn't like them so I'll be right back and I will go fetch him and here he is this is my new pastel leopard and yes he's still feeling a little frisky from his trip so uh, I'm not gonna poke him too much and uh, he's got a beautiful pattern on him beautiful colors and uh, we'll see what him and Khaleesi can do in the future and also you know may plug him in with my uh, butter pastel female also so yeah, punch in those in your little handy dandy morph calculator you'll see what some of my plans will be for next year so he's pretty cool looking guy so and I'll get back to the other video in just a second and here's my leopard pastel this guy's uh, looking great he's got some real good patterns to him and his colors fantastic so Hopefully we'll get him out in a little bit better light. And y'all can see him better soon. So that's my leopard pastel. Before I forget, here's my really cool uh, 
tarantula poster I got from Arachno Gear. And uh, this one has a lot of the avicularry species, which is what I'm going to specialize in my collection. So uh, it's got a lot of the smaller, uh, from hatchling spiderlings up to adults in their various stages. And it's a very colorful um, poster. And this camera and the glare, I'm sorry, doesn't do it a lot of justice. But there's the uh, spiderling I got. Will grow up, hopefully, into that one right there. The Carabina Versa color. So, and the other guy, when you put a light on him, looks a lot like a combination of these guys. When you put an LED light on the metallic pink toe. So, just wanted to share that. And I'm back. And I uh, just want to say in closing, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to us, tuning in. And um, wasn't a whole lot of snake action tonight other than a new guy, and he's still a little frisky. Um, but uh, should be some exciting stuff that we do with Mr. Pastel Leopard. And uh, I want to say thank you again to all the people I met and greeted with up there at Tinley. I had a great time. It's always a fun time. I highly recommend it if you ever get the chance to go up there at least once a year. Um, it's only twice a year, but at least get up there once and experience it. And um, I'll be back in October, and rumor has it uh, Chloe and uh, my wife Jane will be coming with us. So um, we'll see what that leads to, and hopefully we can get it all in everybody's work schedule. So once again... Make sure to check out uh, Exquisite Exotics, MT Universe, and our good friend Garrett Hartle at Reach Out Reptiles. And he's got some really great uh, large retake handling videos. And I saw those cute little super dwarfs. So I'm going to have to look into more of those guys. So uh, sorry I didn't have a plethora of snakes or anything this evening uh, from Tinley. Um, like I said, I... Uh, Wanted to concentrate on getting this new uh, hatchling rack put together for those guys and kind of took priority on uh, this trip. So in October, I look to pick up some more snakes. You never know uh, what we got brewing here at BC Python. So from all of us here, Chloe, myself, Bill, and my wife, Jane, thank you. Have a great night and see you soon.